I've finished the little bits with the spikes, what you want to do is to go back to your side pieces, put your bars to the outside and you're wanting to decide what size you're making your barricade. So take your pieces, then another coffee stirrer and put it in through the bottom rung. This will help stabilise the model, feed it through and have a look whether you want the model barricade that size or that size. So I'm going to choose roughly about that sort of length and then I'll go back to the glue gun and stick it back, stick these down. Keep it in nice and tight to the, the diagonal bar on the base point. I think that looks a reasonably nice size. At this point you want to try and make sure you're keeping your side pieces nice and straight. There we go, that gives that shape. So then you want to go in. It's going to go in with a pair of scissors for the moment. Oops, it's still a bit wet. And just trim up that edge. You need to wait a wee bit longer just to that. It solidifies a bit harder. Just try and keep them nice and straight while they're cool. Obviously you can stew this with other glues other than the hot glue gun. Um, the advantage to the hot glue gun is that it does uh, settle far quicker than something like PVA or super glue. PVA you will be sat there holding it for hours, I will warn you if you choose to go down that route. But uh, the super glue is quite handy that way for, for getting it done nice and quickly. Um, the problem I found with that was I ended up with more glue on me than in the model, so at least you can take off the excess glue far easier with a hot glue gun than you can with a super glue. Um, and it's easier to remove from skin, or it doesn't stick as easily to skin unless you get the hot stuff on you. Um, once you've got that level that looks reasonably well, I'll trim off the other edge in a minute. It's still a wee bit wobbly but it'll start to stabilise quite quickly now. Next stage you're wanting to do is to take between the side bars of the edges and balance on your spikes. Now what we're going to be doing is where we've had them opposing spikes in, let's put it so you're having your spikes gathered together and you'll start to get some structural stability in your model. But if you aim for the gaps and the side pieces for mounting them, um, and again I'll take the glue gun, I'll put the first one in there and there. Let me go for sticking that in place. All the extra bits from the sides are easily enough trimmed off afterwards. Right, yet again, looking for the gap in the side piece, there and there. It's not essential to do it that way, I think it just gives it a nice finish and a nice pattern on the edge of it. Again, you want to aim those so you've got the spikes coming in the middle of the ones below. There we go. And on the top layer, there. Yeah. Now you will get wee spidery bits with the, the glue gun but it's easy enough just to go in with a pair of tweezers and pull those off afterwards. There we go. That's that done. I'm going to go and give this a clean up, get some of the, rid of some of the spidery bits and I'll put in another structural bar along that level just to give it a bit more structure and put back and let you see that. Nice quick way to take some of these bits off if you've got a good solid pair of modelling tweezers just ping some off. Yes you might have a, a little bit of ping back um, probably should wear goggles for that sort of thing if you're doing that just to protect your eyes make sure you're not going to have anything flying majorly but um, gives a nice clean quick cut 
and deep to do it just to clean up the edges and you can get a nice and tight to make it a nice clean cut. With the coffee stirrers they're light enough material so it's not that they're uh, heavy duty cutting so you should be able to manage it quite easily if you've got a decent pair of V clippers that way. If not you can go in with them a big uh, a good pair of heavy duty scissors or you could go in with a craft knife to do it. It just cleans up the edges just nicely. Oops, I forgot the other side of that. Here we go, beginning to, to develop some shape. Right, now don't throw away your bee spikes that you cut off the ends of your, your main spike bits. Just trim them up. There's uh, two sets of two left over. We idea. Put some glue on the back. There. And put them on the top end of your barricade. Anything that makes a barricade look slightly more menacing, all the better. You want to keep you know the enemy out and think, ooh, that looks spiky. Don't want to go there. Oh, just burnt myself in the glue seat. Warning, they, it does happen even to those who think they know what they're doing. I've really stuck myself to this one, a beauty. <laughs> there we go. Well, it just looks quite nice. Added another couple of layers of. Uh, Structural support in at the back, also as a plinth that you can put the base broad enough to put a base of the model that you're working with on. But uh, that's the basic structure pretty much complete. So you take a nice little archer model and sit him here to uh, play over the top. And he can uh, fire some nice arrows at some oncom oncoming cavalry quite easily and quite nicely. But uh, that's the basic structure of your model complete. Well, here's the little barricade we've made. I've uh, just black based it and uh, it looks not bad at all. Um, it's a very versatile little model and uh, change it as you like. You can make different numbers of layers on that um, to allow your model to still see over the top of different layers. There's one I've tried. There's some nice little steps. So you can have layers of models ready to come up and deal with it, but still can s the, the archers and spearmen can see over the top for things trying to ascend. So very versatile model, base shape here. Build up the layers as you need to. Make it bigger, make it smaller. Make it spikier, use uh, matchsticks for, for square spikes to make it look a bit more metallic if you want to paint it up as metals rather than woods. Um, stick nice planks of uh, little triangular lumps or irregular shaped sharp edged lumps around the edges to make it look uh, orcish. Um, very versatile little piece. Have a play, that's the answer. Have a play and enjoy it. Have fun. <laughs>